Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later. Um, I want to continue the discussion on just having focus, right? Um, in my previous video, I talked about how we can look back um, on our past and we just almost live there. We hang out and we allow the enemy to um, just condemn us and we feel such regret. And while, um, you know, we should feel some sorrow for our previous sins, we shouldn't allow the enemy to condemn us because we have been forgiven. So today I want to talk to you about another aspect of looking back and on the other end of the spectrum, I think sometimes we can lose focus um, when we are find ourselves in a difficult place. It's easy for us to focus on loving Jesus and on, on praising him when everything is working out the way we want it to. But once we come to a difficult place, the temptation is there to look back at our past and look back at our past through rose colored glasses. And we begin to long for something that God deliver, delivered us from, right? And we have a um, skewed perspective on what our past really was like. And I think about, I'm looking at my notes here in Exodus 14, um, verses one through four, we have the story of the Israelites. And this is right before they were supposed to go and possess the promised land. And Moses sent out 12 scouts um, to look on the land, right? And the promised land and 10, of, when they came back, 10 of the scouts gave a very negative report. They were focused on the enemy and they were like, we were like grasshoppers in their sides and we saw giants and there's just no way we can um, overcome the enemy. They were focused again on how big the enemy was. While on the flip side, you had Joshua and Caleb who were like, listen, God has promised this thing to us. We can take this land. Um, you know, they're, they're nothing compared to God. We pretty much, we got this. But the children of Israel refused to focus on the positive report, the faith report of um, Joshua and Caleb. Instead, they focused on the negative report of um, the 10 other scouts. And what is just mind blowing in um, Exodus 14, one through four is they begin to cry out and they begin to look back to Egypt, the very place that God had delivered them from. This was, they were in slavery in Egypt and they begin to moan and cry out right before possessing the promises of God because it looked like it was such an impossible thing. They again were looking back to slavery and we can be guilty of the same thing where we lose Lose focus when we hit a hard place as opposed to saying, oh my goodness, God, this is such a perfect opportunity for you to show up and show out and for your glory to be revealed. I'm, I'm going to focus on what you have said and go and possess this promise. Instead of doing that, sometimes we're tempted to look back like, you know what, God, at least slavery was comfortable. At least slavery, I knew where my meal was going to come from, right? At least with slavery, I knew what to expect, even if it was difficulty. And I um, want to discuss this point that, that I had down. It says sometimes looking back can cause you to weep in a time when you really should be rejoicing. The children of Israel should have been rejoicing now because here it is, they are on the verge of possessing the promised land that they've been hearing about for generations and generations. But because they lost focus, they were weeping at a time that they should have been rejoicing because again, their focus was on the enemy. So my question to you is, do you find that um, you are in a season of mourning because things aren't working out the way you, you expected them to, but have you lost sight of the fact that God is still God? Shouldn't you be rejoicing knowing that God, even if I'm in a difficult place, this is going to work together for my good? How about shifting your focus back on God? The other point um, that I want to make is that we have to be very careful what we say um, in our seasons when we're longing for yesterday because the very words that we speak in those moments when we lose focus and we start looking back longing for slavery those very words may come to pass because the children of israel were like oh it would just be better that we just die here in the wilderness and if you read on in exodus chapter 14 god says very well i'm tired of you 
right? I'm tired of you all your murmuring and complaining. I, I've shown up. You saw what I did with the plagues before, you know, Pharaoh released you. You saw how I kept you covered in Goshen and the plagues didn't affect you. You saw how I led you into the wilderness and how I provided for you. But now you want to just accuse me, falsely accuse me uh, of bringing you out here to die. And, and you're crying out and saying, oh, it's better for me to die. God says, okay, you know what? Your wish is my command. There you go. And he tells them, all of you um, from the first generation, they were going to die off in the wilderness. And just like God spoke, it happened, right? It wasn't the first generation that possessed the promised land. It was the second generation. And this is just such a tragedy to me because again, we see that when we look back and we're longing for the past and we lose focus on today, we start saying a lot of just vain words. We say things that shouldn't really come from our mouth because it just is coming from a heart that's discontent, a heart that's lacking faith. So sometimes it's good to just be silent, right? In those times until you just work it out with the Lord. Um, the next point that I want to make, and this will be the last point is, um, looking back can make you abort the promises of God because you can't move forward looking back, right? You're gonna crash. You're absolutely gonna crash and you're gonna miss out on what God has for you. So I just want to conclude there today and just, again, encourage you to focus on today, focus on um, what God has spoken, regardless of the difficulties that you may um, be experiencing. Reflect on what God has already done in the past and, and believe by faith that he hasn't changed, right? So if he spoke something, it certainly um, will come to pass. So focus on holding on, focus on having faith, focus on believing God, focus on what he has promised. And whatever you do, don't look back. You be blessed.